Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And today I am doing a fridge clean out, fridge organization, and showing you exactly what I keep stocked in my fridge and freezer right after doing a grocery haul. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. This has been a highly requested video. If you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe down below, and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. and comment Comment down below what your kinds of favorite videos to see on my channel are. Let's get into it. So the very first thing that I'd like to do is take everything out of the fridge. I usually take the condiments out too and wipe those down, but today I just did not have it in me, so I left those on the door. But I like to take every single thing out. This way I can see what has gone bad. Are there things that are still sitting in the fridge that don't need to be, i.e. leftovers or things that just don't belong in there? So I am getting rid of my oranges. My apples are still good, but I just put everything off to the side, and then I'm going to start cleaning everything down with the Force of Nature Cleaner. I will have this linked in the description box down below. I love it. It's a totally clean cleaner and I like to make sure everything is free of debris and all the little crumbs that somehow get stuck inside of the fridge. And then after that, I like to go ahead and start putting everything back into the fridge and this will help me make my list for the grocery store. So I typically like to do this like at least the day before I go to the grocery store or the morning before I go to the grocery store, if that makes sense. But it helps me make my list because I already know what I have in the fridge, what is still good, and it also helps me meal plan and tell me like what is about to go bad, what do we need to use. Now that everything has been thrown away from the fridge and all that, I'm gonna move on to the freezer. So I'm just showing you what we have here. We just have a few like odds and ends left over. Things that I need to take inventory of and see what we have going on, especially meat. I tend to keep all my meat in the freezer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and organize this stuff in here and then write down what I have and what we need to get at the store. And just like that, if only it was that easy, I am back from our major Costco haul for the next two weeks and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things away. I like to start with the freezer items because obviously they're going to defrost. So I go ahead and put those away. If you guys are wondering exactly what I got in my Costco haul, I will link that video down below as well. You guys seem to absolutely love my Costco hauls. They get great feedback from you guys. So I will link our, my most recent ones down below in case you wanna go binge out and watch those. So I'm just putting everything that I can into the freezer and then we're gonna go ahead and move along to the fridge. I couldn't decide if I wanted one or two bags of cheese in the freezer or the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the perishable stuff away in the fridge, make sure everything is organized and then I will let you guys know exactly Time for the tour of it all. You saw me putting it all away. We do still have a few more groceries to get, but this was after our Costco haul, and this is pretty much how, hi Logie. This is pretty much how I have everything set up. So in the freezer, I like to put meat just wherever it can fit. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say to put it towards the back. Y'all, we're working with like about the smallest freezer in history, so I just put it wherever I can fit it. I've got some tortillas back there, homemade tortillas. Yes. He's talking to me too. We've got some breast milk back there just in case. He is still exclusively best fed and breast fed and we do not use bottles, but just in case anything happens, I like to have some on hand. We've got some bacon back there and some cookies. You can freeze these like ready to go cookies. And this is a great brand, Sweet Lauren's. If you have a lot of allergies, they taste normal and they're ready to bake ones like the Nestle Toll House ones. So you can freeze those until you're ready to bake them. We have some brown rice. 
This is all ground turkey. Then we have our frozen stuff. Now, the reason I put it like this is just for right now. I will reorganize it once it's refrozen again, but I like it to lay flat like that and then I'll stand it up and then I can get to everything super easy. We've got some bags of organic frozen blueberries down here that I love for our boot, our berry freeze, which is on my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Kraus under my highlights. And then we've got some sweet cherries. We got some organic mango this week. We've got cheese. Back there, I still have another bag of frozen fruit chicken nuggets and these are bananas that I cut up and freeze. This is all of the food that we feed Cole and Sissy. It is the Northwest Naturals raw diet for dogs. Yes, sir. And it just takes up this whole bottom portion and then you defrost it when it's ready for them to eat. Then we've got some chicken and some muffins that I made that we need to get eaten. So this is how I like to organize the fridge. I still need to go to one more store for the next two to three weeks. So up here will be butter. And then we've got like cream cheese and easily spreadable type things. And then baking soda, which is right there on the right. Usually have a few treats up here. So we've got some sunflower seed buttercups. I love those. And then Derek usually has a Reese's. Down here, I've got a bunch of like condiments. Yeah, condiments and like baking stuff. So we've got better than bouillon, some dark chocolate in the back when I need just a little treat. We've got two types of mustard right there, some lime, some barbecue sauce, some other better than bouillon. This miso carrot dressing from Trader Joe's, which is so good. Oh, artichokes back there, some peanut butter. I don't really like having my peanut butter in the fridge because it gets too hard, but this one calls to be put in the fridge after you open it. So we've got some black truffle ketchup from Trader Joe's right there in the front, some miso dressing. Can you tell I like miso type stuff? We have some extra barbecue sauce hidden back there that's falling over, some other mustards. I know there's a lot of mustards, but I cook with them a lot. And then we've got some applesauce, some olives, mayo, some goat's milk for the poogers, hot sauce, fish oil for the poogers, ketchup for the for us, not for the poogers, oat milk, because that's the only place it fits. We've got some granulated garlic, minced garlic, I mean, sorry. And then some yum sauce. If you guys have never had this, I am so sorry for you. I think you can order online. It's really good. We have someone coming over to the fridge. So we've got some veggies down here and this is how I like to keep. I have my Brussels sprouts in here. I don't really go by like what should be in the crisper or anything like that. I just put them where they fit. But these apples typically always go in this drawer because I don't like them floating around. And this is how they stay good for so long is I put them in the fridge in the drawer. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I do think putting them in the fridge has something to do with it. Then we've got some spinach right here, another bag of spinach in the back, three things of brown mushrooms back here. We have some broccoli florets and then way back in the back are peppers. I know some people don't keep theirs in the fridge. They're bell peppers, by the way. I know some people don't keep them in the fridge, but I do. And then we've got the pooger food, some bacon. I try to always keep our meat down here on the lowest level if I can to prevent drippage. I'm not too worried about it with bacon since it's completely vacuum sealed. And then in the back, we've got some celery and some whole carrots. Up here is where I typically keep our fruit and some of our dips. So we've got some organic blueberries. We have a bunch of seeds and stuff that we use in our smoothies and like our oatmeal. So we've got hemp hearts over here, chia seeds, flax seed. And then this y'all, if you have not watched my Costco haul you are missing out this is the best salsa I think I've ever had it's so good I eat this entire thing by myself as you can see it's almost gone and we've got one in the back see in the way back there we've got an extra one and then we have some bitchin sauce which I also got at Costco this week got our dates back there if you keep your dates in the fridge they will stay better longer we have our cheese drawer oh we also have our Brita filter right here we just got the one that easily goes in the fridge it's huge because we drink a lot of water. You just fill it with tap and it filters right through there because we do not have a water machine on this fridge. In our cheese drawer that gets stuck every time I open it and it's not from anything inside. It's just the way this fridge was made. We've got two things of cheese, really just mainly because I didn't want to put the other one in the freezer. We need some more room in the freezer. And then I have a bunch of my, mine and Logan's dairy-free cheese on there. It is the Daya cheese, the mozzarella kind. Uh, I don't really care what kind it is any kind is good. Then up here, I like to keep our leftovers so that we can see them. In the back, we have some vegan homemade queso. We have some spaghetti and meat sauce right here, and then some oatmeal and chia seed mixture right there. Half of an onion, which I always keep in a plastic bag right here because, yeah, it smells up the entire fridge if you don't. Then I have some organic cage-free eggs right here. Loki Bear is the only one who's eating eggs right now. He doesn't really love them, but we're trying to make sure that he just doesn't have an allergy to them. It doesn't seem like he does, but he also doesn't like them. So over 
over here, then I keep like our yogurt and our like fermented type stuff. So we have, I got this at Costco, some Nancy's Oat Milk Probiotic Non-Dairy Yogurt. It's free of a bunch of stuff if you have allergies. It comes in a six pack of strawberry and a six pack of vanilla. And then I have some sauerkraut right here. This is from Trader Joe's, but whenever you open it, you have to tear the label off. I don't know why they do that, but that's okay. And then we have these pickles back here. We are almost out. These are probiotic pickles. They don't use vinegar, which is really cool, I think. And these are really good. I also get these at Trader Joe's. They are in the fresh section next to all of the dips. In the way back, we've got some apple butter and it's just a huge thing, which I would usually keep something like that on the door here, but it just doesn't fit because it's too fat. So this is an overview of our fridge. I like to keep things pretty organized, but we have a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, which means things can kind of go wonky sometimes. And I hate the way this looks on the condiment thing, but I feel like everybody's fridge is like that and it's just the way it has to be. So there's our fridge. If you guys are interested in an updated food storage tour or even a pantry tour, let me know in the comments down below. I know you guys are super curious about what we keep in our fridge and freezer, especially because we work around a lot of allergies. And honestly, we just keep our diet really clean and that's the way we like to have it. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to chat with you guys in the comments. Go ahead and smash that like button on this video and subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so you don't miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And here is the little mischief man. Yes. You're going crazy, huh?